Hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to my channel. So this is another Salesforce DX tutorial. This would be part six. So this time we're going to explore uh, some more uh, actions that's available on the marketplace for our CI build. So just a quick recap. Uh, previously, uh, we created a, a workflow um, which we went step by step on how this particular build would do it. So this is checking out the existing code and then getting the latest uh, SFDX um, tool and installing it on this virtualized machine. And then we use uh, JWT authentication using a server key uh, to authenticate ourselves and then convert the metadata and deploy that to the target org. So this time we're going to explore actions. There are existing actions that you could use on your build. So if I search for SFDX, uh, you would see the tree here. Uh, we're going to pick this one, the Salesforce uh, SFDX CLI action. So I click on that. It has uh, instructions on how to use it. You just need the SFDX auth URL. And this is what you need for that. You need to store your secret and example usage. You could also go to the actual repo and check under the hood how it works. So uh, this is a node app. So if I open up the node app here, um, we could pretty much step by step go to this one. So as you would see, it has the normal core actions, child process, and the file sync. And the first thing it does is calls this method install SFDX, which basically has the same thing. It grabs the latest SFDX tool, uh, creates a directory on that virtualized environment, and then install the tool. And after that, this is the special bit where it creates an output file for the authentication. This is using SFDX URL store and then uh, looking up to the output file, which has the uh, auth URL that we need. So let's try using this app. So if I quickly go back, hit back. So we just need to create uh, the SFDX secret for this one using this command. So on your Salesforce DX tool, uh, 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 authenticate yourself first. Once you're authenticated, um, you should be connected to your org. So this would be the target org that you need to um, deploy to and change that org alias to existing alias. So mine is org, uh, uh, hub org. And I should be able to get that information. So this is the information that I need. I have the access token, alias, client ID. You could have different combo as per this instruction, refresh token or instance URL, or you could do this. So that one is actually SFDX auth URL, which contains everything. So I'm just click, gonna copy this, um, open up um, my repository and go to settings. And we're gonna store it as a secret. So previously we did this with the JWT. So we're just gonna create another one. Uh-huh, I didn't copy properly. So go back and copy go back here paste cool and then i'm gonna copy the auth secret awesome so that's all we need um what i want to do next is i want to create another workflow on my staging environment so what i want to happen um let's jump to my staging environment what i want to happen is when I make a pull request to the UAT branch, I want it to use that new GitHub action. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it PRT, PRUAT, or pull request. And let's just quickly copy this existing action to make sure that it works. So uh, let me paste it there. So this is basically doing a push but I don't want it to do a push. I want it to do a pull request. This is going to run a test on the latest Ubuntu build, use that action, authenticate itself, and then run um, the unit test on that org. So let me change this to pull requests. So I want it to run as a pull request, and I want it to run on the UAT environment. So I'm going to commit this file to the staging directly on the staging 
I'm gonna create a new pull request uh, from compare staging to UAT and create a pull request. Create pull request. And this should automatically kick off the build. So let's see what's happening on that build. Uh, this is not the build that I want. Probably this one. Yep, this, this. Yep, this one. So it did its thing. Now it's running the action. So um, if you want to see the status of that, you could go back to SFDX and open up the org. And from here, you should be able to see the Apex test classes being run. So if I go test execution, and I think it's just finished. So if I go back here. Yep. So run 175 unit tests. Everything is passing. So we know that this particular um, uh, workflow is running well. So let me go back and let's edit it properly. So PR. So I wanted to run similar to what we had on the previous tutorial, which is convert the metadata and then deploy it. So, but I needed to grab the latest um, code from the repo. So that is what it's missing here. So let me edit this and quickly modify it. So I don't want it to run on tests. I just want it to run like that. And this is based on YAML, so the spacing, tabbing is very particular. So if you see this squiggly linting time, that means there's something wrong with your... Um, yep, so it should have been build. Let me change that to build. So runs on Ubuntu. And for the first step, I wanted to use the check out the latest code on this repo, which is that action. And then I want it to run the convert metadata and deploy, test deploy, see if it's deployable. So every time you see that squiggly line, that means the linting tool is saying you have invalid. So tab tab and I don't need the hub org here. So one thing I noticed is because I'm using um, SFDX URL org, I didn't need to specify a hub org. So when I run this command, I don't need to specify the um, org alias. So if I start to commit this on the same branch, there should be the existing pull requests that should still be open. Yep. And from here, this is the push, this is the build. So this second one, test run, is the one that I need. Yeah. And did we remove the test run? Looks like it's still doing a test run. Let me quickly double check that I did. Uh, I have committed those changes on staging. PR. Oh no, it's still running the test. I forgot to remove this. It's still running the test and then it's going to convert. So it did finish the run and then it did the unit test. So let's see on my org if something ran. So if I go to status. Yep, so validation um, is running now. 
So it actually kicked off my code. So that's only on pull request. It's validating that my package is deployable. So that's one way on how to use actions. Uh, there are heaps of actions available on the marketplace. So if you go to the marketplace, um, so that's GitHub forward slash marketplace. And there's some other linting tools that uh, you may want to use here, um, which I'll also cover on future tutorials. So that's it for now. Uh, hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.